In this video, we are discussing about virtual environments in Python. What is virtual environment? Actually, virtual environment will allow us to to use multiple Python version and packages, Python packages, or different packages in a different different Python projects. Okay, for example, you are working on a project A and you need a Python 2 here and uh, Python 2 here and you working on a Python packages. For example, let's take NumPy. NumPy version, you are choosing the version 1.20.0 zero here for example okay At the same time you have another project project b and here you need python 3 and same time you can use a numpy different version for the latest version or some older version whichever your requirement you can uh, use use in that project what is happening here so the same same your uh, system, same your laptop, two different project, but using two different Python interpreter, and same packages in both project, but different different versions according to your requirement. So this can be happened, this can be done with the help of a virtual environment. So what is VN? VN is a virtual environment in a Python 3. Okay. Python 3 versions. It's a command. We'll use the VN command to create a virtual environment in Python 3. While in Python 2, we use virtual in command. That is the difference in VN and virtual in. And you know, vir virtual in is in Python 2 and Python 2 already reach end of life. You know that now Python 2 no longer supported. But even though the old projects maybe you have, you can manage or maintain those projects. You still you may need these tools. And to create a new one, go in Python 3. So in this video, we are showing both how to do in both. Okay, so let's go to the video open command prompt and uh, move it to desktop ok now let's uh, create a python environment in version 2 pi minus 2 minus 2 for uh, python version 2 and minus 1 i use the virtual env command as we discussed in before because this is the command we can make a directory by 2 by 2 di directory so, okay so, or you can okay make by 2 directory i'll make the name like this because this is my directory for a python 2 projects so I just uh, give a sample name, you can give your uh, real name, okay. Hit enter. Now you will get no module name virtual. End. So this is virtual and is a tool which will help us to create a Python 2 virtual environment. So first we need to download virtual and tool. To do that, Let's type py minus 2 again minus m um, pip install virtual n. This pip is a Python package installer which will install the package virtual n for Python 2. Let's hit enter. This 
this step record internet okay because this will fetch uh, record files from internet this will take little time because uh, it's depend upon your internet speed okay now this is done now we can just click the up arrow then let's do the step again mean the install the virtual now let's create the virtual environment okay py py minus 2 minus m virtual and command then your uh, python 2 directory virtual 2 virtual environment directory See now, you can see here Py2 directory is created here. You can see in the desktop here, right? Py2 is created when we hit the end. Now let's move on to that uh, CD Py2 directory. Okay. Now we are inside our Python, our virtual environment directory now we need to activate to do so what we need we need the command script slash activate now you can see virtual environment is activated you can this means we are in this virtual environment now now here you can see pip list We'll show you what are the packages we installed. Now only pip setup tools and we okay this three. If you know if you want to install, you can use pip. For example, if you want to install numpy, install numpy. Sorry, pip install numpy, okay. So this command will download numpy uh, numpy latest version from internet and will be used in this virtual environment project only okay Okay, now you can see pip list again. Now you can see we installed a numpy also. Okay, numpy version 1.16.6. Okay, to deactivate from a virtual environment, type deactivate. Sorry, I guess spelling mistake. deactivate command will help you to exit out from the virtual environment okay now let's move on to vn means in the python 3 virtual environment let's clear the screen to install vn virtual environment in python 3 so it's very simple use the command py minus 3 3 4 python 3 minus sum here instead of virtual and we will use vn that is the only difference now you can create py3 py create your project folder name here i am just creating sample for py3 directory when we click the hit button it will create the directory in desktop Sorry, now we are inside uh, Py2. Let's go back. Now let's create Py, Py minus 3. 
by space minus 3 minus some b n phi 3 directory when we hit the enter it will create a directory in desktop called phi y dir 3 directory let's try you can see here it is created and it is now creating the virtual environment so you can check like a you can open this directory you can see those virtual environment file scripts everything here okay let's activate this virtual environment sorry let's move to the python 3 directory now type script slash activate to activate this virtual environment now you can see we are here in python 3 virtual environment okay now let's check pip pip minus v will show you the pip version and you can see the pip directory and which python is going to use now if you want to install something you can install pip install uninstall those uh, packages you want for this python 3 projects for example if you need netmigo you can install netmigo So this command will install let me go packages okay now let me go installed now you can check pip list see this much packages now we installed let me go so it is uh, along with it is installed parameco all others okay so you can also check the command pip freeze pip freeze will show you the exact versions of each package which are the packages you are going to use so if you want to take this exact version as a requirement txt to upload your uh, github or wherever you want to so you you can use the command again pip freeze minus minus local again you can use pip freeze minus minus local greater than symbol requirement requirement dot txt so this will uh, create a requirement .txt file which contain all the packages versions we installed. Let's go to the our directory. See requirement install. These are the packages we are used in the this project. So we can uh, use this text. Now this is enough in this video. So we will continue learning in Python next videos thank you for watching please subscribe my channel